And finally, what do you think of the Zelda franchise? Overall thoughts, favorite game, thoughts for its future, etc. If you have played it. Bum 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 ba da ba 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 da ba 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 Da 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 I love that poster. I didn't make it, but I got it from a friend of mine who found it online and then went to Kinko's and made a... Well, made that. Anyways, I love The Legend of Zelda series. I've played almost every single game. I am currently working on... The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. So I'm playing that game. I can't wait for Skyward Sword. I am really hoping to play that game. I haven't tried out the new, uh, well, new remake of uh, the Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. Uh, and that's only because I only have a regular DS with the Legend of Zelda Triforce on it. Yeah. The only games that I haven't played are, like, the real old ones. I haven't played Link to the Past. I got it on WiiWare, so once I'm done with uh, that. And uh, I also still have to play uh, the Oracle of Seasons and the Oracle of Ages. Uh, both I borrowed from a friend of mine from work. So I uh, got plenty of games over the summer for me to play. But yeah, huge fan of the Legend of Zelda series. I first got into it when I played, uh, well, I first got into it when I was at my grandma's house and my f uh, cousins were playing Majora's Mask on the old Nintendo 64. Now, I remind you that even though I had a Nintendo 64 myself, I didn't have any of the N64 games for the Legend of Zelda series, like uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. But, I was able to borrow from a friend, many years later, a GameCube edition of the Ocarina of Time, uh, Majora's Mask, and the first two Legend of Zelda games. I haven't played those all the way through yet, and that's because they're rather difficult, but I can... I'll, I also need to find time to play those. But yeah, huge fan of Legend of Zelda. And I think I may be planning something with the Legend of Zelda manga. I'm not sure yet. I first need to work on the Mayor Review and also the Halloween Special. Those are my top two priorities right now. And also playing Legend of Zelda. And Pokemon Black. And uh, Professor Layton, the Unwound Future. And working. But yeah, huge fan of Legend of Zelda. And the final questions come from CyberDraco001. Question number one. Have you seen Gao Geiger or any of the Brave series? And if so, what are your thoughts? Have I seen Gao Geiger? You made it! Why, yes. Yes, I have seen Gao Geiger. And it's one of my favorite animes to date. And I would also like to check out some of the other Brave series, but the only problem is Gao Geiger is... Oh the only Brave series that I was able to locate so far. I mean, I was trying to find some of the other ones, but they're really hard to find. If anybody knows where I can watch some of uh, the older Brave series, uh, let me know. i uh, definitely like to check those out, too. Gao Geiger was a blessing in the anime industry. Well, 
that and the other Brave series. Of course, Gal Gadot came last, so the Brave series in general was a blessing to the anime industry. During the, during the time when people were starting to go away from the whole super robot mecha genre and turned more towards the um, quote-unquote real mecha genre, the Brave series brought back the love of the super robot genre, which is heavenly because, honestly, I, I, I don't mind real mecha genres, like, uh, like, uh, well, actually, I absolutely despise Evangelion, but other series like, uh, Gundam, or, uh, Escaflone, or, um, or, uh, Eureka 7, or Eureka 7, as I guess people keep on insisting it's pronounced, but it looks like Eureka. But the Brave series brought back the love of the super robot genres, and it was also thanks to them that I think they brought about the remakes of a lot of other popular super robots, like Tetsuzin 28, uh, Get a Robo, Mazinger Z, all those remakes, I think, were thankful and have the Brave series to thank for that. And don't get me wrong, the real mecha genre is still pretty good, except for Neon Genesis Evangelion, but more on that in a later review. But the Super Robot gets the real sense of childhood, the sense of, like, being buddies with a giant robot, like the Transformers series. They were a Super Robot genre. Technically, I think. I'm not sure, don't quote me. But it's a fun series. It's so much fun and so enjoyable, and it only... And I love it even more because it has Link's voice actor as the main character, Guy. I know, that that's his name. He's the guy whose name is Guy. It's confusing, I know. But yeah, Gal Geiger and the rest of the Brave series, love them. And I would love to check out some more Brave series, so if you could just type that down where I can find them, that'd be great. Thanks. Question 2. Have you ever thought of reviewing animes from the 90s and 80s? Why, yes, I have thought about reviewing animes from the 90s and the 80s. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to them anytime soon, but I definitely would like to review some from that time period. I have several ideas for uh, anime specials, uh, which I, uh, well, one special is Anime vs. Anime, where I take two anime that have a relatively similar plot line. Like, uh, say, uh, the plotline is a uh, harem, harem anime that uh, where the girl is a monster, or something like that. Like, uh, anime that are similar to that, and I compare two anime of that type of genre, and I compete them against each other to see who is the better series. Now, uh, I guess I can give you one example. One, one idea that I have is to compare... Yurusai Yatsura, the founder of the harem genre, and face it off against its other alien counterpart, To Love Ru. Both series involve alien girls that come to Earth and fall in love, or get attracted to, an Earth boy, and kind of compare the two series and see what they do with that concept. So that's an example of what I plan to do. Uh, other things that I'm planning to do with animes from the 90s and 80s. Of course, any other top 11 series that I'm going to be doing. Uh, hopefully I'll get some time to do those. Uh, they'll have those. And also like uh, my anime music classics. I am uh, still working on those. Uh, still gathering up clips. I just need to write down the script for one of them. And I should be able to get it done. But not anytime soon. I'm still working on a lot of other stuff. I hope you understand. But yeah, I still I got although for like um like a solid series like actually reviewing a series not a part of a list not a part of any specials but actually reviewing a anime from the time period of the eighties or the nineties. Yeah, I could see myself doing one of those. I have uh, one idea, but I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Nothing really comes to mind as to any, like, uh, really bad series or series that I could really talk a lot about for the 90s or the 80s. 
But uh, there are some. I have specials. I have top 11 lists. I have anime versus anime. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for the questions, and please leave more questions on the bottom, and I look forward to doing another one of these sometime soon.